Welcome to Womb Buddy, the brother podcast. Uh, I'm Austin, the original... Buddies. The, sorry, Room Buddies with an S. I just said one. I'm the only buddy. Uh, Austin, that's me. The original Womb inhabitant, I hope. I don't know of anybody before me. Dear God. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself, please? Wonderful start. No, I'm good. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the other one, then. <laughs> okay, I'm Brendan. Um... The second one in the womb, I guess. I don't... The second. <laughs> I tricked it out better than he did. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was so comfortable and I didn't want to come out. I don't quite to... remember any of that part. They had to uh, cut me out. <laughs> there were a few years afterwards, which I blocked from my memory, too. Yeah, the two years before I was born, I know. Well, yeah, and then were... the th- probably the three after you that. You were just waiting for, for your little brother to come along. No, please. Yeah. Go away. Mm-mm. Okay. You love me. You know it. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh-oh. Uh, so this is a podcast. We're brothers. We talk. We absolutely love and hate each other, both oh, at the same time. You just described it perfectly, dude. That was the perfect description. Podcast. We talk. We're brothers. Yeah, what that's else the whole thing. What else would there be? Um, I only hit him a couple times in our life, so we're good. Just a few. I can't remember any specific times. I remember one very specific time where I slapped you dead across the face dead and just walked face. away as soon as I did it. Was there something that led up to that? or uh, You were probably being an asshole. <laughs> oh, good. That was, you don't remember what happened. You just remember the slap. Listen, you, you, in, um, oh, what's the word? Um, you know that word where you, like, you edge someone on? Instigate? Instigated me. That's and the I, word you're looking for? I reacted with a slap straight across the face. Left cheek or right cheek? Let your left. My left? It was my right to left I slap, like and you hit the left. It was right on the left cheek. Right on the left cheek. Yeah. My left or your left? Your left. My left. But I came from my right. Okay. It was a right hook mm-hmm. with an open fist right across the face. Perfect. You're welcome. So we're going to talk about a variety <laughs> of things. <laughs> Including uh, beating up each other. Slapping each other open-handed across the face, apparently. Uh, Bitch slap. Exactly. Uh... Maybe some some current events. Nothing. I don't want to be too downer. Do you want to just throw something crazy sad out and then continue? Something crazy sad? Yeah. Um, R.I.P. to the homie Kobe. Uh, I know it's been <laughs> wow. a year, but... I said current event. We still miss him. Well, that's current. Oh, oh. Tom Brady. That's sad it's hearing about him. Th- um, he died? He did not die. I mean, did you see the picture? Of what? Him trying to get in his car after the parade? <laughs> no, I didn't. He was <laughs> laid out on the ground worse than I am usually. Well, he, he was drunk? Yeah, Tom Brady. Did you Hold not on. see him no, throw the Lombardi trophy across? No. Let me look it up. They were they had a parade in Tampa, but they can't have a normal parade because of COVID, so they had like boats, and they were going down a river, and he threw the Lombardi, the Lombardi trophy from his boat to Gronk's boat. Oh, I think I did see, like, a yeah. clip of that. I thought it was a baby or something. No. Like, <laughs> why would he throw a baby? Yeah. I Come here. Know. What's his daughter's name? Come here, I little just, one. I'm going to go see Uncle Gronk. I just saw, like, something fly from one boat to the other, and a bunch of people, Yeah, it like, was the out. Lombardi trophy. Mans has had it six other times, so he's like, this ain't special. Here he's you go, Gronk. He's people. Brady got sloshed during Buck's Super Bowl parade. Yeah, yeah. LeBron commented on his tweet and was like, hey, man, what the hell? I wish I could have a parade, too. I, th- I thought that was funny. Was there... Do you have the inside report? Like, what was he sloshed on? Mm, oh, wait. I did read about it. Um, no, here we he go. was drinking something weird. It was something weird. Gin. Yes, maybe. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I it wasn't like beer or anything. It was okay. some some weird thing. Oh, there's noise. I don't want the noise. Let's see. Oh my god, he's lining it up. Oh, you're watching the throw. Yeah, he's about to. Throw Honestly, it. better than any of the passes he threw in the Super Bowl, though. So I don't remember most of them. I I watched three minutes of the Super Bowl. Oh wow, <laughs> that they was did it. in fact catch it. Yeah, that's this, one of the reasons why I do not like Tom Brady. Because he threw the trophy? <laughs> no, I think he's, like, a low-key arrogant guy. Low-key arrogant? Yeah, like, you gotta look at everything he's done to see his arrogance. Oh. <laughs> so also, like... I just don't like U of M, so... Um, oh, that, yes. Fire up chips. In the grand scheme of things, he's arrogant, but, like, any one moment, he's not? 
Like, I feel like he pretends to be the nice guy, and then he's just, like, super arrogant behind closed doors. But when he got drunk, he showed his real side. That was it. That was all him. That was all Tom right there. I mean, you know what they say. Alcohol makes you say the truth, so... It makes you act like the true your true self too. I can't. Spell That's why I, I act like a jackass. Oh when I'm yeah. Drunk. I just can't spell, which maybe you it means spell. I'm uneducated. Why can't you? What, you, that, what can't you spell? Anything. Anything. A N Y T H I N G. Anything. Yeah, but if I was. Like seven or eight drinks down. I oh, might get okay. Like, that's what you, you when you're drunk. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I thought you. <laughs> I thought you're just telling me you can't spell. Yeah, I just. I was, you I was never a little, knew. A little worried there. I. Uh, I definitely I, spiked above the red again. <laughs> I really lean on the autocorrect. Uh, if you, his mic is spiking, he yeah, like leans um, in and I out. apologize for that. Oh, you're Listen, fine. This it looks is the fir- Oh, you didn't see it a couple seconds before. Oh, that. whatever. This is the first episode. We'll figure it out later. Uh, so that um, was current events. Do you have any more current events you wanted to talk about? Any more current events? Um, we went from Kobe Bryant to Tom Brady, which got more current. Uh, not really. I mean, the only other current event I can really think of is, um, you know, anything on TikTok really <laughs> is just pretty current. It's very current. Yeah. Some crazy videos out there. Good content. Nothing specific. I, re- I just saw a tweet that had uh, John Krasinski in it, but I can't find oh, it anymore. I don't know was, what it was. Uh, he was recently on SNL. I did see that, that he hosted. I wanted to watch that one, but I didn't. Yet. I haven't seen it either. Uh, no, wait, here it is. Oh. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, their tips for a six... Oh, never mind. It's on The Onion, so it's not real. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever looked at any of The Onion stuff? Did you well, Did you want to read what it said? Or were you just going to tell me it's on Their the tips onion? to a successful marriage. I, I'm not married, so I'm good. I don't need... <laughs> you don't need it. I'm sorry, are you married? Do no, you need it? No, but, you're not. But uh, maybe somebody listening needs it. Well. The Onions, John Krasinski tips to a good marriage. All right. This one goes out to our cousin Madison, I guess. Yep. She's so, about to get married. Yeah, she, what is it, 151 days or something like that? You know the exact number? I saw a Facebook post about oh, Valentine's okay. Day. <laughs> That's the only reason I know. So it says, um. Yes. Well, it oh. just showed a picture of Ted Cruz, and that was it. So, Perfect. Um, <laughs> I guess if you want a successful marriage, Ted Cruz? no Ted Cruz, get his help. That's what they're saying here. I don't know. I don't think Ted Cruz is a good relationship Probably counselor. not. Maybe better than us, though. I don't know. I'd be pretty good at it. You I don't know so? about you. you. You need a little more experience on your resume before you give advice okay. about that. But you, you have it down. Like mm-hmm. marriage counseling or just relationship oh, counseling? Oh, relationship counseling. Okay. I've got nothing on marriage. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's just like a regular relationship, except for you can't get out of it at that point. So, like, normal couples come in and you help them, and then, like, a married couple comes in, you just play single ladies, and they... Oh, single ladies. Uh-huh. <laughs> I give them the card of a nice divorce lawyer, and that's what I... Oh, yeah. I feel like you're not going to be in business very long. Oh, no. Well, good job. Uh, that was all the current events, then? Yeah, your Twitter and Do you have any current events? I don't know. Um no. I don't Dix sponsor me. Dix will not sponsor <laughs> you. What is it? Play it again? Sp- oh wait, no, that's, that's an actual a chain. different store. <laughs> what's a big name low spread? No, that's Dunham's. What's uh what's Dick's thing? Every Get in season the game. starts at oh. Dick's. <laughs> that's such a bad saying. I mean it's Dude, just imagine the commercial for that. Like Okay. Like you got a priest or something, every mm-hmm. season starts with dicks. I mean, yeah, there is Or like a... an old creepy grandpa I don't buying <laughs> his grand his his grandson I guess I can't see the quotation marks I put on that. That's his what you grandson say in, quotation. in quotation marks. Uh a baseball glove or something. You're saying that would be a creepy commercial? Yeah. I feel like that's why they've never made a commercial like that. Have they ever made a commercial where they say every season starts with dicks? I don't think they say with. I think they say at. Oh, is, at dicks. Yes, oh, at, I heard with, with dicks. No, okay. you don't just start with it's dicks. Better, it's better if if it's at, not with. You you because, are correct. Um, you know, nobody wants to start the season with dicks. There was a commercial, uh, I think it was a few years ago, for the Little League World Series, and it was like uh, how they help out youth sports and stuff like that, but it was just a bunch of little kids in baseball uniforms, and on the front it just said dicks. Because, like, the sporting goods is a lot smaller than... <laughs> it was very, like, 
Good intentions, but <laughs> good intentions. What, what was their mascot? Just a giant penis? I don't think that. Dick and think that, balls just running around the stadium? I don't know how many, like, little kids baseball teams you know of, but most of them don't have mascots. Well, I don't know. That's the Little League World Series. They're all pretty rich. Well, the mascot is, like, just the gopher or whatever it is. Well, I, I guess that's true. Like, at Central, they didn't have a mascot. Well, that's. That's a different story, I guess. They can't really have a mascot. Chippewas, yeah. Yeah, they can't have a mascot be, for this team. <laughs> yeah, let's just hire one of the guys from the reservation to come over here. They actually had, there was a game. I don't know if you went to this game, but um, there was a game that uh, we had a full-on drum circle before the game, which I thought oh. was actually pretty cool. They, um, The reason that they don't have to switch from the Chippewas and like all the other teams have so far, like the Redskins, is because they have such a good relationship with the... Uh, the tribe that's up there. Mm. Fun facts about Central Michigan. Of the Chippewa. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, like, the tribal elders or whatever they're called, uh, they... I think it's tribal elders. I think that's how I you I couldn't tell, yeah. Well, the people that are in charge of the tribe, mm-hmm. they are, like, actually really cool with the university, and we they do a lot of stuff to help them out. And, like, they, you know, communicate and shit. Central Michigan University. You just said Central, so it could have been C-M-U. any C-M-U. Fire up chips. I already said fire up chips on the podcast, so... Okay, well, I, I think making, they know which one I'm talking about. Somebody from like Central Arizona might not know what fire up chips means. I guess that's true. Like a Phoenix native or like a somebody who lives in like Los Angeles. Yeah, but they're <coughs> excuse oh me. Oh my god, they're um they're over there at ASU partying all the time. So well, yeah, you know they Party don't school. remember much of anything. So beautiful. Shout so... out to ASU though. You know, here, yeah, great, great campus. Great campus. And a good of, cross-country team. Full of, oh, do they? Yeah. Actually, they were, like, one of the best in the nation. Oh. How does partying translate to good running? Um, So, like, there's... The school is split into two. It's parties okay. or hippies. Oh. And hippies are really good at running, usually. Apparently. Yes, actually. It's weird. Um, You can't really be a runner without being a hippie. That's what I found out. I don't think that's true. It is true. Was Forrest Gump a hippie? Yes. Oh <laughs> well, he married a hippie, so I, oh that well, I, there's the did relation. Did they get married? Oh, I guess they did get married. I forgot that Jenna, part. Jenna, I love you. <laughs> that was a pretty good for No, that was a pretty good Forrest Gump. I couldn't. That was not good. That, that was, was a... you were closer to like British than <laughs> Forrest Gump. Well, maybe Tom Hanks is British now. Who I knows? don't think he is. He was uh, he was British for that one Carly Rae Jepsen video. I have no idea what you're talking about. He was like, about. you've never seen... Tom Hanks Tom... was in a Carly Rae yeah, Jepsen yeah, yeah. video? So Carly Rae Jepsen, the... Um, Hold on. I think it's I Really, Really Like You. Okay. Tom Hanks, the entire music video is just Tom Hanks um, mouthing the words to the song. <laughs> and he then, like, Carly Rae Jepsen comes in the, in the end, and they're all, like, dancing in the street and singing, and then Justin Bieber comes out of nowhere and starts oh. dancing. It's apparently... So, like, this is what I've heard on this. Apparently... They were all in the same bar together. They just happened to be in the same bar at one point. Mm -hmm. And they were all just like, we should shoot a music video together when they got drunk. And, like, then it happened. Look at that. That's Tom Hanks right there. Yeah. He just mouths the whole song. I don't have the sound on, so it's just Tom Hanks waking up right now. I really want to stop, but I just got... Is it? Okay. Sorry. I know the song. It's a great song. I don't think I know the song. (laughs) Apparently, you know a lot more than I do about... Current events? Current events and Carly Rae Jepsen and oh, Tom Hanks. Well, do you remember our biology teacher from high school? I do, yes. Okay, so we had a pep rally one year. Uh-huh. And, um, Carly Rae Jepsen's song, Call Me Maybe, there's a dance I'm to I'm pretty it, sure right? I was still at the school when this happened. Like, I'm pretty sure I witnessed what you are saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was a freshman, so you would have been a junior. Correct. Yeah, when she danced. She was dancing in front of our art section, though. That's why I don't think you... I didn't know if you saw it or not. And she did the, you know... And everybody was like, oh, my God, is she going to have a heart attack? <laughs> I was going to say, I was on, like, the middle south side of the gym, but I didn't know if that would help you in any way. The middle south side of the gym? Yeah. Well, oh, I got to think of which oh, way God. south. North, east, southwest, never eat soggy waffles. No, I I can't remember that far back. I don't okay, know where cool. I was. I thought I, I was on the south side as well, but all the way over by the exit. Well, that would be plausible. If you didn't say the same exact spot as me, then it could be possible. Yeah, but you were, didn't they say juniors and seniors on one side and sophomores and freshmen on the other? I don't know. I thought that's how it worked. I, it doesn't matter. 
The, no, it does not. Uh, any more current events yet? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> now that we've been babbling we've for 16 about, minutes about uh, our biology teacher. <laughs> my junior year of high school, which was about eight years ago, seven years ago. Your now? junior year would have been my freshman year, so Correct. that would be over eight. Over eight? Yeah, because I just graduated. I would have. I should have just graduated from college this year. This was my fourth year, so that would put it at eight for my freshman year. I feel like your math is off. No, because it's four years oh, of high no, school it would be plus exactly four eight. years of college is eight. Exactly eight. And we're a little past when I should have graduated, so it's like eight and a half. You got it. See? No. Math is my strong suit, bud. Hold on. No, it's not. Because it is my... This is 2021, correct? Yes. 2014 is how many years it from... It was the fall of... Fall, um... The fall pep rally, which was in 2012. Okay, so we're just over... And even if it was in 2013, that's still eight years. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're not arguing about years right now. It's just over eight. It's not eight and a half. Thank you very much. I'm not that old. Okay, it's close to eight and a half. Whatever. It's over eight. We're going to have to edit just all of that arguing out. We're not out. editing anything out. We should edit the arguing Not a out. thing. Edit the arguing uh, out. So... I had a real topic that's not current events that happened eight years ago. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> what? I hit puberty? Eight years ago yeah. you did? You're... I was a late bloomer. Okay. I, th- I was not going to talk about another current event, no. Oh, okay. I was going to... Um, eight years ago, though. Eight years ago, what exactly. Happened, what happened eight years ago? Uh, to date this, it was... Do uh, I know this? February 11th. No, I'm not talking about something from eight years ago. Oh, I thought you... You just said eight years ago. <laughs> You keep talking about puberty. Yeah, okay. I February was, 11th. It's February 11th. It's February 11th today. I don't know when this comes out. Um, so eight years ago, something happened. Do you want me to look up what happened eight years ago? See what you just said eight years ago. That's because why you keep talking about it. <laughs> I'm trying to move on. Okay, move on. Then. The past, well, now I got to no, look eight up years what ago. happened eight years ago. Oh, my God. We're editing all of this arguing. No. Yes. This is what we do. People don't want to hear arguing. But this is what we do. I know it's what we do. No, That's people, why there's going to be a lot of editing in our show. <laughs> people like arguments because then they get to pick a side. Okay, well, everybody can be on my side because I'm the correct one. I don't think so. Yes. Um, I can tell you what happened on this date in 1990. 19, why do I care? I wasn't alive. I don't know. Nelson Mandela was freed after 27 years well, as a political listen, prisoner. Um, I don't believe anything actually happened until I was born. Sarah Palin's birthday is today. Oh, dear God. <laughs> and Jennifer Aniston. Check her, uh, check her email. Jennifer Aniston or uh... Sarah Payton. Oh, okay. I whispered that one because we don't want her to come assassinate us. Who? Sarah Palin? Yeah. I don't know if anybody heard what you said. She can see Russia from her house, so that's I don't true. Die. My watch is going off. Um, so can I transition away from current events that aren't? Uh, very yeah, let's now? move on to whatever's next. Okay. Uh, I figured since this was our first episode, or uh, like our first date with the listeners' ears, if you want to put it that way. I like how you're explaining it while looking at me, even though I already know what's about to happen. <laughs> well, I gotta explain it for everybody else. Do you want me to look the other way yeah, when I? Yeah, you could like not look at me while you I'm not gonna look at you. Uh, so I figured we'd do some first date questions, just so people know what we're all about, which is arguing about eight year old current events, apparently. Um, so can we, I, can we take a quick pause break on that for a second? And okay. I want to ask you a question. Um, we're sitting in our studio, which is aka your bedroom. Correct. Right? Why do you have a Lego penis in here? A Lego? That's not a Lego penis. Okay, it looks like a. Okay, this is. Tell me. If you look at the bottom of this Lego set, you can see what city this is. Okay, well, San Francisco does not have a building that looks like a penis in it. I, that is. <laughs> I mean, I, it is what the building looks like. Let me look it up for you. Here. It just it looks like a penis. It <laughs> it's a gray. First of all, is that what happened for you? Well, maybe your condoms are ago? colored. Oh, it's already wrapped. They can make colored condoms. I had a like neon yellow one one time. I when you hit puberty. Uh, when I eight hit years puberty, ago? no, this was probably like four or five years ago. Uh, this is. Let me see if I can get a good picture of this building. There you go. <clears throat> me, oh God, Google help, Google. I think that's the building it's supposed to be. Oh, that looks nothing like a penis well, in real life. It, that looks nothing <laughs> like this, actually. It's a Legos. You can't make a perfect building. That probably looks exactly like the building that it's... Uh, I just realized that I was talking that? away from the mics so and nobody oh heard God. anything I just said. He's, he's just pointing at Lego buildings <laughs> behind him. Yeah. Uh, at Shanghai? There's a twisty building in Shanghai. 
Yeah, that probably looks correct. I bet people are just dying to hear okay. this. Sorry for the questions. sorry for the pause break. We'll go back to the All right, so we're um we're going to act like we're on a dating website here and we're oh. going to be answering some first date questions so that you can get to know us a little better and uh hopefully you'll get to see how these play out throughout the rest of the show. Oh, uh, <laughs> what does that mean? Our romance life, see if uh Oh. See if any of our actual first dates go well. I if this helps us, if yeah, this, this is this practice. Might, this, we're going to practice. Okay. Uh, Austin needs some practice to uh, help him in the dating pool. Thank you. Thank we're you gonna, for... I, you're back to relationship counseling. We're going we're gonna to start getting him out to bars and see if any of this works. I, after COVID. Is, yeah, exactly. Uh, after COVID, it's subsided, of course. So um, there are 160 questions here on this website that I found. Oh, okay, I, that's a lot. Um, you, we're not going to go through all of them. I don't talk that much on a first no, date. No, <laughs> we're not going to go through all of them. Uh, I figured you could just pick a random number between 1 and 160 a few times, and we'll just talk about a few. Oh, why don't you just do a random number generator? Oh, I thought I'd give you the choice. Because then if, like, these are all horrible questions, it's your fault and not the universe's fault or whoever well, we're we just going to do a number generator. What's, okay. What is it? 160? 1 to 160. 60 generate. 43. 43. So 43. we're going to scroll down to 43 here. If you could give yourself a nickname, which nickname oh. would, you, <laughs> would you want people to call you? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm going to go back to uh, eight years ago, actually, oh, when I got my, my best nickname. Um, back in gym class, mm. uh, I used to know this one girl, and she always said that I could be a rapper if I wanted to. Oh. I can't. I can't rap at all. <laughs> Keep this in mind. I cannot rap at all. I just, like, she said I looked like a rapper, I guess. I don't. But anyways, she told me that my rap name would be Q Daddy. Oh. And that's that's the nickname that I would want to go by. I think that's a pretty fantastic name. Mm-hmm. Um, for all the viewers out there wondering why Q Daddy, it's because our last name is Queener, spelled with a Q. So, uh, Q Daddy, um, that's my rap name. Unless, um... Unless I ever get into like the um, the food wrapping business, and then I'd want to be little meat patty. <laughs> what? Hold on, <laughs> hold on. The food wrapping game? Yeah, yeah. You know, like when you're at McDonald's and they wrap up your hamburger before they give it to you. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I would want to be little meat patty. So you're planning on maybe at some point becoming a McDonald's food wrapper? <laughs> yeah. Specifically McDonald's, or would there be a different... Well, I mean, I guess you can go to any place that wraps up food, really. Well, I, what do you aspire? Well, I guess it couldn't be Taco Bell, because they don't really wrap up meat patties. They yeah, wrap up they... ground beef. Mm-hmm. So. so you're not aspiring for a Taco Bell, like a... No, I don't think I could work at Taco Bell, because I eat it too much, and I like it too much. Like, okay. if I work there, you know, it's kind of like seeing how the chicken nuggets are made at McDonald's. I don't know if I want to see what's in Taco Bell. I just want to know that it's there for when I'm drunk and ready to eat. As long as it tastes good, I mean... Who really cares? Um, I care. I don't want to eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's ever again. Why not? They're good. Because it looks like toothpaste when they squeeze it out of that tube. Some very pink toothpaste. Yeah, well, Colgate. That is colored toothpaste. Okay. Crest makes colored toothpaste. You don't remember the blue sparkly toothpaste no, we used to have with kids? Blue, that's child's toothpaste. I'm <laughs> sure that they can <laughs> make pink toothpaste, too. I'm sure girls get pink toothpaste. Oh, I'm sure they, There's they like genderify a toothpaste Princesses and shit on the, on the front of the tube. That would be brown if it was shit. <laughs> I hate you. Is there, like, an emoji toothpaste? An emoji toothpaste? Yeah. Actually, I feel like they're probably... There's... They make emoji toothbrushes now. They you can, like, light up the toothbrush Do you and, like, like... brush your teeth. You know, remember those ones that, like, you light it up for and it'll light up for two minutes and they have emojis on Okay, so we've gone away from the question, but I have a different question for you Oh, now. okay. Do you remember... I don't know if it's still a thing. There were toothbrushes that used to play songs, so when you yeah, put yeah, them on yeah, your and teeth... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you had to touch your teeth to hear the music. Yeah. Yeah. Those were, uh... Bone conductivity. I feel like that was, like, ten years ago that that was a thing. They... Fun story about that. Okay. They use the same technology that they use in those toothbrushes and those headphones that uh, we used to sell at the old place we worked together at, because mm-hmm. I can't say names apparently on this show. Well, if you it's an those, old place, I don't Remember care. those bone conductivity headphones? Yeah. They use the same technology as they did in the toothbrush. Oh, I thought you were going to say to like help deaf people or something, but you, oh, just, no, no, no. you, you went can... straight for... <laughs> deaf people can't do that. I don't think that works on deaf people. I think they can like take your tooth out and shove it in your head or something. That's probably not exactly how it works. What? But take your tooth out and shove a... what in your head? The, the tooth. Hold on. 
Hold on, I'm ki- <laughs> so you're saying they pull your tooth out and then just shove it right back in? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> to deaf people and it doesn't hurt or something? I don't, I don't They're think... immune to being having teeth pulled and having it hurt? I don't think that's the official way to do it. <laughs> I'm really confused here. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see how it's... What I... is a... Oh, or are you saying they put in, like, a, uh, a special tooth where they, like, vibrate and they can feel the vibrations and hear stuff? Hold on, let me see here. Because um, I'm kind of confused by this question here. Or by this statement by you. I think... Um, I'd also like to state that this this guy over here has not taken any dental classes in his background. So no, he has never. absolutely no clue what he's talking about. Neither do I. Here you go. Um, it's some sort of uh, conduction prosthesis. They take a tooth out and it's implanted somewhere. Um, here we go. Okay. So you should have, you can't just say they take it out and shove it in your head, because I'm thinking they take the tooth out and shove the tooth right back in, like, they put something in there. No, they take the, they, like, take the tooth out and they implant it somewhere. Your and tooth? Yes. What does the tooth do? Because it conducts sound somehow. I don't know. Oh, so I'm completely off here. I thought you meant, like, okay, they pull a tooth and then they put, like, a fake tooth in its spot and you can, like, hear stuff from it. No, no, they, they like, take it out and they implant it somewhere so that it conducts the sound. I don't know if you can be completely deaf and use it. That's crazy. Um, that is weird. And what? definitely comment down below everything that I just said that was wrong, which is probably 100% of it. So, oh my goodness, they just straight up cut your tooth out of your mouth and just throw it in your brain. I assume they use a tooth that's not necessary, like they don't take your front tooth and put it in your head. You know, all I can think about while we're talking about this is remember when you were in, like, high school and you had headphones and you put them in your nose and then yeah, open your absolutely. mouth? <laughs> yeah, That's all I can think about while I was talking about that. Or when you take the phone and you, like, put it in your mouth and you go, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. See? Conductivity and, and sound and stuff. You got all kinds of holes and cavities in your head for the sound to bounce around it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like that you said holes and cavities in your holes head for sure. Holes and sh- cavities in your head. You just um, got stuff bouncing around in there, man. That's oh. my nickname, Holes and Cavities. That's what you want people to call you? All right, Holes and Cavities. <laughs> you can call me Q Daddy, and I'll call you Holes okay, and Cavities. Okay, Q Daddy and can Holes I, uh, and Cavities. Can I shorten it to HC? HC. I'll be HC. Hmm. Or I guess if it's Holes H-N-C? and Cavities, we could call it HAC and call you Hack. Hack. I'm Hack. All right, Hack. Hack and Q Daddy. <laughs> oh, dear God. This is... Those are our radio DJ names? All right. Next it's question 28? is 28. Okay. We'll move on from the nicknames because we've talked about toothbrushes and deaf people. I feel uh, like this is um, a podcast for ADHD people, ADHD people because we haven't, oh yeah we haven't stayed on a topic. We're for gonna very long. it's gonna be tangent <laughs> after tangent. Oh dear, yeah. So you, uh, if you're ADHD and you want to hear a podcast, <laughs> listen to us because we're fantastic for that. Props to anybody if their brain can keep up with what's going on <laughs> or even remember what we said three minutes ago. I can't. I think we were talking about high school or something. Maybe. Eight years ago. Oh, yeah. Events. Fire up chips. Eight-year-old current events. <laughs> uh, what fad did you never really understand? You better watch. <laughs> I'm fad sorry. with a D. F-A-D. Uh, all I can think about is now new girl. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? You need to enunciate better. F A D new fad. hip trad f- fad trends. <laughs> <laughs> you can't for speak. all my new girl fans out there, and you know what I'm talking about, Nick and Schmidt. Uh, one day I aspire to have a best friend like that. Okay. okay, what was the question now? Oh my god, what fad did you never really understand? <laughs> Tide pods. <laughs> <laughs> when you eat the Tide Pod, I never understood that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, oh, there's a story behind it. Okay, oh, um, God. when I was in basic training, uh-huh. they took all of our Tide Pods and we weren't allowed to do laundry for two <laughs> weeks because freaking dumbasses were out here eating Tide Pods and they were scared we were all going to try and kill ourselves. With Tide Pods? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. So we had dirty, stinky clothes for the like two weeks straight. They it couldn't just disgusting. get you like liquid detergent? No, they didn't have it. We weren't allowed to have that either because of some reason. I don't know what the reasons <laughs> were for that one, but you could only have Tide Pods. Okay, but then the Tide Pods you couldn't have because but yeah, were then we couldn't them. have Tide Pods because <laughs> kids were eating them. Okay, yeah, so that was a great time. Um, what fad do I not understand? I, I mean, feel like you don't understand most of them. That that was what I was about to say. Like <laughs> anything that's happened after two thousand five, maybe he doesn't even understand the TikTok fad. I don't. Although he recently downloaded it. I mean, recently, like I re-downloaded it after having it for a few months. 
Oh, you had it? Yeah. Do you have an account? Have you ever made a TikTok? I've never made a TikTok. I've made several. Would you like to see some? Uh, do you, do, I'm not in the middle of the audio podcast. No. Do you want to shout yourself out, though? Shout out? No, because I oh, okay. don't really... He's scared. <laughs> okay, Um. yeah, I don't understand, like... Wait, did I not show you the the TikTok I made for Shawn Mendes? No, I, you didn't. Did you watch the Shawn Mendes documentary? No, I didn't. I watched oh, the very okay. beginning where he couldn't talk when you were watching it. You gotta watch Shawn Mendes' documentary to understand the TikTok, so we'll, we'll save that for another day. Okay, Um. yeah, fans, I don't understand most of them. I still don't know what simping is. Simping? Yeah. You don't know what simping I don't, is? Like, I, that's I've, not a fad. Well, that's I, just something that happens. Just general anything that uh, a young okay. kid would do let right me, now? Let me educate you real okay. quick. Okay, so simping? Mm-hmm. Simping is basically... Uh, when you treat a girl with respect and you treat her right. Oh, like the opposite of yeah, negging? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Of what? Negging. 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 I don't like that you said that because <laughs> that's, okay, that's like a TV thing. I don't think people actually neg. I, uh, I mean, I feel like some really douchey guys did at one point. Okay, but you call me douchey all the time. Well, but I, I've never done that. I mean, for all I know, you could have. Okay, let me, let me tell you this, though. Uh-huh. Girls like it when you treat them like kind of bad they like if a girl likes you and no 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 hold on hold on hold i've on, never on. nagged but girls really like it no, when no, you no, treat no, them no. bad when a girl likes you but you don't know it and you uh-huh. continue to like kind of like tease them and make fun of them they like it more which is weird i don't know girls got some crazy <laughs> stuff going on up in their heads i feel like we can't talk about this because there's not equal representation here what do you mean like you're just talking about stuff that you might not know the right answer to. i mean if any girls want to comment on this and tell me if i'm wrong I which think... they can't because i'm right oh okay I'm that's a bit... right. <laughs> i've never nicked <laughs> anybody okay but anyways back to simping simping uh-huh. is just like when you treat a girl right and the opposite of that it's basically um like your friends, your guy friends being like, oh, you're not coming to hang out with us. Any-. It's like, do you know what whipped means? Yeah, being I do whipped? Know what whipped? It's means. the same thing. Okay. Same thing. I guess I could have just said that. It's not the whip. It's being whipped. Like, uh huh. I, I understand what whipped means. Okay. Thank okay. You. Like um, whipped cream. <laughs> I also, I don't know that I've ever dabbed. That's another one that I have not. I mean, that was more of just oh, like. Oh, there's two meanings for dab, too. No, not the, the tobacco dab. Like the arm dab. It, is. Was that what you were referring to? Is no, there another weed, dab? Weed dab. Oh, sorry, weed dab. There's no tobacco. Dab. No, that's dip. Sorry. Dip. Yeah. Different D word. Also, you know they make that stuff like so readily. They can make coffee dip now. Like it tastes. Oh, really? like, it tastes like coffee. I've never dipped. It's a uh, Z Y N. Z Y N. Yeah. What does that mean? That's like the company. That oh, okay. Um, they also make like now they make dip pouches that are vitamins instead of nicotine. Mm. Does yeah, it still, really like, weird. bore a hole through your lip or whatever? Probably. I yeah. mean, it's not good. I, but, like, they make anything with vitamins now. They do, uh, that's the next question. They do, uh, vapes that uh-huh. are just vitamin. They make melatonin vapes. So okay. you smoke melatonin and just knock out. I mean, if you're going to do that, you may as well just smoke weed. <laughs> like, <laughs> it does the same thing as melatonin. Does just, the melatonin vape smell like weed, though? I don't know. I, I don't vape. Oh, well, I don't either. That's another fad that I never understood. Vaping? Yeah. Um, it's the... Okay, so the whole thing behind <laughs> vaping was, like, it was supposed to be better than smoking. But it wasn't really? So I saw a TikTok the other day on oh, this, no. and it was a doctor, and he said it took them 50 years to realize that smoking was, like, really... To have scientific evidence that smoking was actually really bad for you. Okay. And vaping is still a baby. It's only been around for about 20 years now. So they're saying... They're predicting that they won't have, like, clear medical evidence that vaping is bad for you for another, like, 30 years. But in 30 years, when all the kids are, like, they dead... They all have lung cancer. They all have lung they're cancer and all dying. Like, nah, 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 nah. They're going to be like, look, we told you vaping is this, is just as bad. Mm-hmm. Because it's still it's still stuff going into your lungs that's not air. It's flavored air. Good to know. Uh, are any other fads that I've missed? Mm-mm. Anything current right now that I need to know about? Current fads? Yeah. Just the TikTok thing. Okay. we're all in quarantine, so everybody's like, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. That's true. I'm going to become TikTok famous. You are? That's my goal. Well, I made a bet that I could get 100 likes on a video. The closest I've got is 46. So we're kind of close. Oh, you're getting there. Yeah. I'm but you didn't want to shout yourself out so you could win the bet? <laughs> that was uh, that was the Shawn Mendes video. No, I want to win it the proper way. The proper way. Okay. I mean, you know. I thought about making like an anonymous account where I wear a dinosaur costume and just run around and do dumb stuff. Uh-huh. I feel like that would go really well. Okay. But I didn't. Are you? Are you... 
making a TikTok for Womb Buddies. You've talked about it. Yeah, I don't know this the name yet. We'll okay. just like we'll put it in the thing below the video. That would be the description. The description. Perfect. You nailed it. Or we can comment it. Whatever. Uh, another question. Another question. Uh, you would you have one? Oh, number one, yeah. Number one. Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? <laughs> lift. Do you- <laughs> I'm super depressed, so I lift all the time. Lift. Yeah. My oh. friends, they say that they can judge my uh, depression level based on how good I look. So right now I look actually pretty good, which is an indication on how depressed I have been. You're, you're depressed right now? Um, that's what my friends say. Can we cheer you up? Or? Can we cheer me up? No, I mean, not really. Okay. That's... I thought we weren't going for downers. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I'm still happy. I'm, I'm laughing. Okay. That's good. Um, so you lift in your free time? That's all you do? Pretty much. Lift, school, and work. Lift school and work. Those are the three things that I... Oh, I guess I watch a lot of Netflix. Uh-huh. You've already mentioned New Girl. New Girl, Hawaii Five-0. Uh-huh. Uh, I just started watching Modern Family. Uh-huh. Um, the Office is on Peacock now. I can watch the first two seasons because I have a free account, but... Oh, Psych. Have Psych. you watched Psych yet? I've you need to watch only Psych. seen some episodes. Not, you need to watch all, all through. Psych. It's fantastic. It's kind of like The Office. I have a large backlog of things to watch, and I'm currently watching uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine for about the tenth time, well, which is... <laughs> stop being what I am with New Girl with Brooklyn Nine-Nine and just watch new stuff. But it's so good. There was another... What, what was the other show I told you to watch? Um, it was Psych and something else. Did you watch Scrubs? No, I've never seen Scrubs, Scrubs either. Maybe. I've seen bits of it, but not... Do you uh, watch Suits? Never seen Suits. Suits is pretty good, too. Should I be taking a list down? I mean, possibly. Okay, yeah. well, uh, we'll come back to it. Uh, what do I do in my free time? Yeah, what do you um, do in your free time? Video make games. videos, play video games. Video games. Uh, that's most of it. To be honest, with his free time, I never see him come out of I like room. to disc golf. Right now, it's not easy because it's... <laughs> don't laugh at my disc I'm golf. I'm a disker. <laughs> you, can, you can go outside. Do it's you guys... not as expensive as golf. Yeah, but regular golf is more fun. I, I forgot. It's... When it's warm out, I also golf. You do golf. I do yeah. golf. It's a few times. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, recently looked at that picture. Remember the when I broke my driver? <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic day do on the course. you want to the story? I mean, I hit a little ball and the driver broke. That's pretty much the whole story. <laughs> Good story. I, uh, I got a little... I had been lifting over the summer and I got too strong and I hit the ball too hard and the driver just, you know, so you came were, apart. You were really depressed over the summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I was hitting golf ball so far. A.K.A. Mm-hmm. Austin has never hit a ball farther than me. I don't think that's true. Like In baseball, in golf, nothing. At some point, you must have, like, mishit it and then I hit it further than you. I mean, like, our farthest ball ever hit is okay i'm winning yeah i think you're at like 250 something like that how many yards have you hit a golf ball i and the one over the gazebo that you measured on google no no no, it was uh the one at carl's golf land what was that one i don't know uh we should have written i thought it was like 250 that's why i said yeah we'll we'll call it 250 by the way you still didn't hit 211 what do you mean i didn't hit 211 at top golf i hit 217 no 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 that doesn't count it was like three swings later that you hit 217. What do you mean? You hit the ball that went out there, oh. and then you hit like two more balls that like didn't even go close to that, and then all of a sudden it said 217. Okay. It yes. didn't take that long to roll in. I've conceded, though, the one time that I hit the golf ball and like five minutes later it registered as a 217-yard drive isn't real. Okay, that's Because the since one then talking. I've hit it multiple times. I don't, th- I don't think that's true. It, it is true. You were there. All right. Anyway. Anything uh, else you do in your free time? Disc golf, video games, make videos. Uh, I think that's about it. That's the next one. We're 50. on number 50 now? Number 50. Um, I watch watch things, too. YouTube, Netflix. Hulu. I don't think you should just say watch things. I watch things. What's the What's been the best period of your life so far? Oh, <laughs> anything pre-corona. Okay. I'm, uh... Oh, wait, I actually... Uh... Oh, do you have a real answer? The time that I became like a cheerleader, that whole time right there, that's probably the best part of my life so far. Okay, that, that was, was a lot like of fun. Two years ago, a lot of fun. Year and a half. Um, year and a half, yeah. Okay. Are you? But you're still sort of in that window. Uh, actually, I'm waiting right now for the coach from my new school to email me back to tell me uh, what's left for me to do to come cheer for them. So there you go. It's gonna be fun. So you're still in the best window of your life right now. Sure. Um, <laughs> I guess. I'm the same. I mean, is there? There's no, not when you were like super fit, running in high school. 
you know. This... I mean, I, I think about that sometimes, but I was also like a child and short, and I wasn't really that strong. Now I could like beat the crap out of younger me. <laughs> That's not saying much though, because when I was younger, I could beat the crap out of younger you. Well, I mean, maybe. It, it was. It was. Locked Did it, was it in the episode that we talked about you slapping me across the face? Yeah. Okay. I, I can't so. remember. We've talked about so much stuff yeah, in the what are we like the forty minutes we've been going. Oh my god, we've been at forty minutes. Long. Forty whole minutes. It flies by. Um. Yeah. Uh. Did I give an answer? I don't remember already. It's you been, said yeah. This, oh. This time period right yeah, now. Yeah, I think right now, like anything post twenty eighteen or post twenty seventeen. Twenty eighteen through twenty twenty one has been pretty good. Yeah. I would say so, yeah. I mean, the the 2020, eh, it was okay. (laughs) It was was quick, honestly. It felt like it was never going to end, but then, like, you look back and it was actually kind of quick. Yeah. Like, I I, I look back at summer and I was like, I I don't even remember summer, really. Well, you never stopped working, so. That's true, yeah. I didn't didn't stop working, which kind of sucked. But also, I made money, though. Well, you. I also made money. You actually got a raise for being unemployed, which is some crap. Well, you know, I probably have to pay it back come like a couple months from now got to pay it back what well do you yeah mean pay it back well that's how unemployment works taxes. You get money oh okay <laughs> oh is unemployment not tax uh i they did take the taxes out but i don't know okay like if i made so much that i still have to pay i don't know i forgot about uh, that i gotta do that anything post 2017 that's my answer for, in the short i'm almost <sighs> done with school now uh life's life's moving at the Life's speed moving. of 2017, apparently. Did, did you want to uh, boost your ego now, since boost you were apparently de- depressed? What do you mean, boost my ego? Well, um, the other day, I was looking up Womb Buddies on Urban Dictionary, just to see if there was some really weird... Wait, wait, wait can we do one more question before we move oh, on? Oh, yeah, you want another question? Yeah, 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 last question, I want it to be 69. Oh, sorry. Hmm, yeah, yeah okay. gotta do 69. Um, 69, what are you most grateful for? <laughs> That's a dumb question to make 69. Um, what am I most grateful for? Mm-hmm. Ooh, uh, I guess good friends. Okay. I, I'm going to go soft on this <laughs> no, one. I thought you were going to go like hardcore, like my ripped body or something. No, no, no I'm going to go soft on this one. I'm, I'm not the easiest person to get along with sometimes, and I got some pretty great friends that put up with me. Okay, that And was... I guess a good brother who loves and hates me, apparently. Who's that? Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Not me? <laughs> no, not you. Okay. Um, what am I most grateful for? Um, I don't know if there's one thing I'm most grateful for. Uh, My see. weird ass brain? No, it'd probably be the fact that Mitchell and Madison haven't just kicked the shit out of you for puking in their house three times. You did? No, not three <laughs> times. First off. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. What it should be is you should be uh, grateful that you didn't drown in the bathtub that <laughs> night. <laughs> that, that's true. That's what I'm most grateful for. Be I didn't gra- drunk gra- drown in a bathtub. Be grateful that your cousin walked in there just in time to move the sponge off the drain <laughs> <laughs> and save your life. That's what I'm most grateful for, drunk drowning in a bathtub. Do you Sorry. want some Sorry, ego Yes, I want boosting. some ego boosting. Boost my ego. Thank you. Every time I ask you the question, you talk about something else. So... As I was explaining before you cut me off with 69, um, I was looking up on Urban Dictionary the other day if Womb mm. Buddies had some sort of weird definition okay. that would be funny for me to talk about. Yeah. And uh, the answer is no. It well, doesn't. I, I think the words itself is weird. Like the fact that... Well, yeah. Womb Buddies, we shared the same womb. Well, I guess we didn't share it, but we were in the same womb <laughs> at some point. Yes, at some point. Maybe we should have just lied to the viewers and said we were twins. I don't think we are, though. I've heard that we look a lot alike. Do you want... Not so much with the squirrel on your face now, but, okay. like, if you clean shaved and I... You took off the glasses, maybe? And we both wore hats. <laughs> <laughs> We're exactly the same okay. if you do all these five different things to make you look like me. So the change is, like, just if we had the same appearance without the hair, though, because our hair is different. So you want me to shave my head, cut off all the hair on my face, take off my glasses? No, like... If you have the same base and then just take away the hair because our hair is... Di- like, you have curly hair and I have straight hair. Like, you just take you the hair... consider that curly? I believe it's wavy. Well, it's also been, like, in a hat all Boy, day. I believe wavy like is the hair, correct term for it. Your hair curls when it gets long. Waves. 
Like, I want your hair more than oh, my hair. Oh, you want I hate, my hair? I hate my hair. You tell me all the time that I'm balding. Well, I don't want your hairline. I want your hair. Oh, just my hair. <laughs> yeah. You're going to steal my hair? I'll keep my hairline. Thank you. So anyway, uh, womb buddies. No good definitions. It's just like two people that have the same parent or like twins, which we are one of those, not the other one. Um, so I thought, why not look up our names? Okay. So I looked up our names oh. in Urban Dictionary. Um, I'm going to read mine first because I feel like <laughs> I feel like you have something to say about it, and then I'll read yours. Oh, okay, so we're getting my reaction on the names. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Or do you want to read mine? Cool, cool, cool. No, no, no. no okay, I'll, I'll read, read it to you. Ready? See. This is the top definition on Urban Dictionary for, for Austin. Austin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> a Gay. sweetheart Sorry. of a guy who can light up anyone's day with his jokes. Um... I figured this would be your reaction. Okay. Uh, Austin may not be the most popular guy. That's very true, yes. But he's definitely the coolest. No. <laughs> he's easygoing. Yeah. Easy to talk to. Uh-huh. Funny. Not really. Cute. Mm, <laughs> maybe if you shave the beard. Incredibly fit. Um, No, not Ooh. even close. Smart. Uh, Yeah, I'll give it to you. Wise beyond his years? Yeah. Okay. You did know what uh, ebb and flow meant, and I, I don't. I did know ebb and flow. I do now know that ebb is a word. Correct. So I'm wise E-B-B. to my ears. E-B-B. E-B-B. Yes. Uh, he's a little shy. Yeah. But insanely outgoing around his friends. Um, he has to have friends to do that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, he can make anyone laugh. Um, Sometimes. Okay. Knows how to treat a girl right. No evidence on that yet, so we'll we'll wait until we see some something happen. And then uh, the grammar's not great here, but it says "and is loves cuddling." Well, I don't really know that one because I've never cuddled with you, and I hope we don't ever cuddle. So that's more of okay. a you question. I did try and kiss you the other day, but what? When? What? No, you might have been. Was I asleep? You might Are have you? been drunk. Oh. <laughs> what? Um, it really sounds like we're alcoholics, doesn't it? Like four or five times we've talked about being drunk. In well, listen, I minutes. have been called an alcoholic several times, so that's well, nothing okay. new to me. Uh, n- now you've made me lose my thought. Okay, he genuinely cares about everyone he loves and loves everyone. How long is this definition one? It's a full paragraph. Oh, okay, good. I'll give you that one's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you get to really know him, you'll realize he's a deep, insecure, and one of the most amazing friends you'll ever make in your entire life. Um. Well, I guess I don't really, really know you that. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, um, I'm not that deep. Um. I don't know if you're insecure though. Uh, I don't know. Was that a you are insecure? <laughs> are you telling me you're insecure? <laughs> I don't know if like. Are you insecure about something? I mean, maybe something. Your glasses? Is it the glass? It's the glasses, isn't it? Your hairline? No, I like it's my glasses. It's the hairline. Actually. Is it the beard? No. Do you want me to keep going? I mean, I wish it was fuller, but. <laughs> fuller house. No, I I did watch a few episodes of that. Um, where was I now? I'm just gonna keep shouting out things until one of them sponsors us. Bang! <laughs> if if ba- anybody from Bang Energy hears this, please sponsor me because or Rain. I have no no Rain. I don't like Coke. I products. had a Rain this morning. Listen, Bang is where it's. You need to start drinking Bangs. It's the okay, same price and there's better flavors. Get me. I had Bang. <laughs> so there is a. Please don't ever say that again. <laughs> we are related. One time I was at work and a guy walked up to me with a Bang and he said Bang me and I said Go away. <laughs> great story. Great <laughs> story. <laughs> you know anyway. I love when when I start my day off with a morning Bang. Uh-huh. Just you know it's a fantastic. We have I have so many great lines for great Bang commercials. So. Mm-hmm. Anyways, going, moving on to your insecurity or off of your insecurities <laughs> onto the next thing. I'd like you to know I'm only halfway through this paragraph. At this, <laughs> I think yours is longer though. So. I think we should uh, speed read it then. Okay, uh, then just react as I go. Ready? Okay. Uh, he'd be the most amazing boyfriend in the history of mankind. Still no evidence on he's, that. He's also incredibly privileged to have your. Oh, hold on, I can't read. You are incredibly privileged to have him in your life. I liked it the other way around where <laughs> I, he is incredibly privileged to have me in his life. No, that's not what it says. Well, um, okay. Don't take me for granted. Um, okay. and I don't know how to say that one. Never let go of me. Sure. Um, I know what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. That's not Sometimes. true Sometimes. Hmm. He's a good listener and gives the best advice. No. He never judges. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I just judged you on, <laughs> on the fact that you don't... Do- <laughs> he never judges. Let me judge that. Yeah. Uh, he never judges or makes you feel like you're nothing. No, he, he made, definitely does. He I've definitely made you does. feel All like the you're time. nothing? All the time. Okay. 
Uh, he has the most beautiful blue eyes. I don't like that that one's true. How did they know that? I don't know. Are most Austins just blue-eyed? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, he, I'm also the easiest person to love ever. No. Um, Very hard. I'm pretty much every girl's dream guy <laughs> and more. Oh, my God. I can't speak and on that because I'm not a girl, but I'm going to say no. Um, you are not all that in a bag of chips. Sorry. And then we, we finish it off you with might the, be final, the, bag of chips. the final two sentences to wrap it up. Um, incredibly rare, down-to-earth human being and just plain awesome words can't describe this dude well there's one thing true about that statement words cannot describe you that's true (laughs) um there's also you know they put the little quotes at the bottom so that you know how to use the words in context i would just say your name to you be like austin so there's the quote well this is you have girl one who says i need a guy who can always be there for me and really cares i just want you guys to know this is a made-up scenario (laughs) because this will never happen and then girl two says girl Get yourself in Austin. <laughs> There's about six eyes in girl. I am Brendan's definition. Did you want the next paragraph about me? Or no. Or you want to go straight? No. <laughs> okay. We only have eight minutes left. Are you cutting me off? Yeah, okay. at an hour. We're cutting it hard at an hour? Yeah. I okay. mean, at an hour I can't spell your name. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. Am I drunk? I don't know. Apparently, we are alcoholics, so maybe. This, it could be true. This is loading slowly. Here we go. My back is okay, so, sweaty. Um, yours is more of a list than mine was. Oh, okay. So I'll just have you... <laughs> I think you're going to just say yes to almost all of these. Okay. Ready? Yeah. That starts off with awesome guy. Yeah. Great friend. Yep. Very loyal. Yeah. Amazing hair. Yeah. Okay. Uh, every guy wishes he could be like him. Oh, that's and a be his very friend. true one. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> all that girls love sure. him. Yeah. <laughs> Great cuddler. Oh, 100%. Fun loving guy at times. Yeah. Okay. Good at sports, but not an arrogant jock. Yeah. Okay. Not conceited. I'll say I'm cocky, but not arrogant. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're not quite Tom Brady? No. Full circle there. Just arrogant guy. Uh, oh, no. Not conceited? Mm, no. Okay. Gorgeous? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. He's nice to everyone? No. Okay. Funny and can make you smile by being himself. Yes. Party animal at times. Oh, 100%. Can, <laughs> I, I think it's all the time. Can be cold, but is eventually nice again. Yes. Okay. Treat uh, a girl like a princess, then like God, and then a girl again. Okay. Yes. Uh, Where were we? Very smart? No. Okay. This I is, say I'm, 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 I'm okay in that department. I'm not very okay. smart. I think this is the one that you will adamantly disagree with. Okay. Loves reading. Oof, I've finished one book in my entire life. Okay. Was it a good book? Uh, it was Diary of a Wimpy Kid, so there were pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah, good book then. <laughs> uh, best boyfriend? Yeah. Loves well, animals? Oh. I've only had <laughs> two actual relationships. Okay, but were you Air the best? quotes around that. I'll say it, yes, okay. but if you ask the girls that question, I doubt they'd say well, yes. Well, you're the one judging this definition. Okay, then yes, I am the best boyfriend ever, ladies. Uh, loves animals? Uh, I like, I don't like cats. Cats okay. is the only thing. Loves animals minus cats. Yes. Okay, and then athletic. Yeah, very. That guy is such a Brendan. You wish he was mine. I don't know what, what? that's bad grammar. I don't know. You wish he was mm-hmm. mine. Why, I mean, I guess if I'm wanting to wish somebody something good i would say yeah i wish he was yours okay but like wouldn't it be i wish he was mine i don't know not you do you want to hear like a actual paragraph definition of who you are sure okay this is the next next one down it says the most gorgeous guy in the universe Mm -hmm. every girl wishes they could have him yeah and every guy wishes they could be him yeah he has amazing hair that all the other guys in school wish they could pull off. Yeah. That's Not true. only is he amazingly gorgeous, but he's also the sweetest guy you could ever meet. 100%. He isn't conceited, but he's obviously gorgeous. Again. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> he yeah. loves techno and rock and has a great sense of style. Well, if he you makes... replace techno and rock with country and EDM, yeah. Okay. Uh, he makes everyone happy when he's around them. Uh huh. And Sometimes. You're lucky if you know him. Uh, I'd say 75% of people would say that statement. Okay. 25 Um, there's another, this is how you use this in conversation under okay. this one. Uh, guy one says... Oh, we're on guys now. Yeah. Guy okay. one says, I wish I could be more like Brendan. Yeah. 
Uh, guy 2 says, I know. I would totally sex him up and I'm not even gay. <laughs> I don't know. Why do you like that so much? It's, it's funny to me. Uh, <laughs> guy 1 also says, me too. But with lots of E's and Listen, lots of O's. I am a very attractive person. Uh-huh. I would say something, but I don't want to put that out on okay. air because I'll tell you after the show. Okay. I don't want the kid to find out. The kid? Yeah. Oh, he's not don't like a say kid, it like kid. that. He's not like a kid kid. I mean, okay. we're all kids, basically. I mean, we're, I'm 22, you're 25. <laughs> we're kids still. You want me to say now. the young adult? <laughs> the young adult. I don't want him to find out. Okay. Um, I just scrolled down to the fifth de- definition here. Okay. And they have, like, little blue highlights on some of them. Mm-hmm. The blue highlights on this one are <laughs> sexually active, sex drive, and make love. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> his dick tends to be larger than most. <laughs> oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I... It's average. It, well, it's above average, actually. Why did your voice get so high when you said that? It's above average. You said, yeah. It's above average. Okay. Above average. Not by much, but it is. I've been told that it's not small, so. Okay. I, I, I'm confident with it. Perfect. So, how do you feel about our definitions on uh, Urban Dictionary, then? Mostly accurate, yeah. Is there a name that you just want to shame right now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me do it. <laughs> Nah, we're good, we're good. Okay. We don't have to do that one. We can look up more names later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there anything else? Uh, that's all I had, unless you want to talk about uh, anything else. Mm, not really. Okay. No, I think we're good. So, so to recap, we talked about... Uh, I don't think we can recap. There was like a <laughs> hundred different things. Yeah. Recap. Um, we talked about Tom Brady. Yes. Kobe Bryant. Uh-huh. Um, rest in peace. Rest in, what? Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Both yes. of them. I thought you said recipes. Um, mm. We talked about. Actually, I did just see this really, really <laughs> g- cool recipe today on TikTok where you take a banana, okay, and you like make it slices, right? Uh-huh. And then you dip it in pancake batter and banana. You make pancakes. it long slices or little slices? You cut the banana in half and make them long slices. So like it's, it's long. Like if this is the banana, it's long ways. You cut it in half and then cut it this way. Oh, so you cut it you... in half horizontally and then you cut it. Vertically. Yes. Okay, gotcha. And then, uh... That might have made sense. Hot dog, hot dog it hamburger. In, dip it in pancake batter and make pancake... It looks so good. Dip it in Nutella after that. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um... Ooh, mom's making food. Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, uh, putting a tooth in your head so yeah. you can hear. Uh, we answered a lot of questions. Talked about simping, uh, negging, uh, Tide Pods. That was in there. We talked about the dick in San Francisco. <laughs> we talked about our names. Yeah. Uh, you said a lot of things that I have to cut. Yeah. Did I? Maybe. What did I say? Well, you kept saying we have to cut this. And I was like, it's not. Oh, just the arguing. Okay. There you was, don't want us to some, argue. There was some small bickering that we cut out. You want us to publicly look like we're better brothers than we are. We should probably cut out the fart where we're talking about cutting out the parts. <laughs> this is all standing. There's no way I'm taking it out. Um... So that's it. So okay. uh, check back in in two weeks, Fortnite, 14 days. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Fortnite... Yes, I did. Is, you know, Fort... Not not that it's a video game. Did you know that a baker's dozen is it's 12? 13. <laughs> yes, it's 13. No, Fortnite, it's like Fort, like 14, and then night, like nights. There's a camera on my laptop that you're now playing with. That is so cool that it, like, angles like that. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you for listening to Womb Buddies. Uh, Uh, The the podcast for ADHD people. Exactly. Tangents (laughs) all over the place. Um, Check the comments or the description for the tag names for our social media accounts. He will be making them shortly. Soon, yes. This was the only thing he had to do for the podcast, and they... Well, you can't make a social media account until the podcast is actually happening. Well, what is your first first video going to be on this? Uh, probably like us in the studio on next week's episode. Oh, next week in two weeks? Or two weeks, yeah. I mean, we can do next. I don't care. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well, join but, us I mean, in two yeah. weeks. Can't have for... content until the show's actually happening. Why not? Be... What am I going to have content of? The whole content is supposed to be about the show. Well, if we don't have a show, the there's show's no content. The show's about us. 
Well, yeah, now people know who we are, you, and they'll know what the content's going to be. You wanted like. me to do, like, uh, like TikTok dances or something. Yeah, we're going to do some TikTok dances. I might do a backflip someday. Although, we can't really do those in the studio unless we do them on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I be would kinda smash crazy. my head on the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know, that might be pretty funny. It could be. Uh, this is how we end the show, apparently, is we attempt to end it for... Oh, the queen or goodbye. The queen or goodbye. This That's... is a, a known thing in our family where you say goodbye and then 10 minutes later you are... St- honestly, maybe even an hour sometimes. Yeah, it's, it takes a while. They, you remember the time... <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll just... Thank you for listening to Woo Buddies. We'll, we'll see you in two weeks. <laughs> goodbye. Peace out. Go ahead and correct it. What do you want me to say? Um... Our episodes are actually every week instead of every two weeks. Austin fucked up. Well, we 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 said two weeks, and then we decided that maybe we could do every week. So we're just gonna disappoint. It's every week. Every every week, every week join us here on Thursdays to listen to our ADHD looking asses on Thursday. Looking, mm-hmm. they can't see us. We're we're queen or goodbyeing again. We have to end it. <laughs> every week, every week we'll be coming out with a new episode. Next Thursday. Next Thursday, join us. <laughs>